مشاهدينا فيلم الذهب الاسود او ذا بلاك جولد الذي عرض في مهرجان الدوحه السينمائي من اخراج الفرنسيه جان جاك انوا وبطوله الفنان العالمي انطونيو بانديراس وهو مقتبس من روايه الكاتب السويسري هانز روش العطش الاسود يبني طاقم العمل رؤيته الدراميه على فانتازيا تاريخيه لمملكتي حبيقه وسالمه الصحراويتين اذ يكتشف النفط في منطقه متنازع عليها بين المملكتين ويمتد الصراع بينهما لامد طويل ويذكر ان تكلفه الفيلم بلغت 55 مليون دولار امريكي. رندا جبر التقت مع ابطال وطاقم العمل فلنتابع. انتاج تونسي وفرنساوي وايطالي وامريكاني وقطري انتاج عالمي هذا اكبر فيلم على على العرب تعمل من لورنس اوف اريبيا والقصه من الكتاب اللي شريته وانا عندي 35 سنه وقت اللي نصور في تونس بلادي في الصحراء التونسيه جورج لوكاس ستار وورز وجاتني الفكره وقلت لروحي ان شاء الله نهار نرقى امكانيات امريكاني واوروبي باش يعاونوني للتوزيع الفيلم هذا باش يخرج ان شاء الله في 300 قاعه سينما في العالم كيما هوليوود وعلى هذا حبينا ناخذ مخرج معروف عالمي Get ready to be rich. Rich. Seriously rich. The Sultan considers the exploitation of the Yellow Belt a violation of the treaty. The excitement about this movie is that it's the lead character and all the other characters are of Arab characters. Big difference with a lot of uh, foreign movies, international movies, we always take uh, the, uh, the story of a journalist, the story of a foreigner discovering this world. Uh, what we wanted was to make a movie from inside. It's the story of a young prince played by Tahar Rahim, who is a, a, a man from Algeria. Uh, he's a French citizen, but his background is Algerian. And uh, we, uh, around him, we have a cast of 40 Arab actors. Uh, my pride was precisely to shoot in Arab countries an Arab story with Arab actors. Two of them are not uh, Arab citizen. Uh, Mark Strong is uh, a British citizen from Italian and Austrian origin. And Antonio Banderas thinks, believes that he is uh, from Arab origin, is uh, from Andalusia, is dreamt for all his life to play an Arab. And his dream came true. The yellow belt, a spit of sand. Neither may claim it. All I want is your friendship and my sons. As long as they are under my roof, I cannot make war with you. Well, I was very lucky to be working with Taha. We'd met before on a film called The Eagle, and I think the fact that we knew each other a little bit helped, for a start, to, to have some kind of a relationship. Um, as I've said before, I'm way too young to play his father, obviously. <laughs> but, uh, no, um, it, was, it was very easy for me because Taha gave me a lot of respect, as a son would his father in that situation. So, it was, it was, the job was made very easy by him. You are an emissary of Obeika, but more importantly, you are now my son and Leila's husband. Hold on. Father, I came here to warn you. The Sib has a trained army with modern weapons. You can't shoot me. I am a prince. No, you were a prince. This is the first time I, I see a movie, it's a, such a movie, representing a big movie like this, representing Arabic people uh, in, a, in a different way. I mean, in a good way too, with uh, talking about value and uh, religion in a good way. So... Yeah, the most patronizing thing would have been to make a movie about the Arabic world that is all perfect. Yeah. You know, that's not real. They're human, too. It's a grown-up movie, this, because it shows you not only that world in a, good, in a good light, but it also shows you the flip side as well. You can't say Antonio's character 
is all good. You know, you can't say a lot of those guys who come out of the prison are all good. It, it gives you a realistic look at it, but at least it's not doing what a lot of American movies do, which is paint everything in a bad light. So I thought it was, um, it was a very positive movie. In the future, there is any, you can do something together? I would love that. Again. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. We do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We'll play brothers. Brothers next time. I'll be the father. I will raise them as my own. With my daughter, Leila. Princess, you are too old now to play with boys. I would never imagine that you would become so beautiful. Nasib. King of Hobeika offer his daughter Princess Layla. يحمس الفيلم أجواءه وشكله عن جد حلو وقصة جميلة أيضا.